you know, I really feel naughty making these videos so short, you know, 10 minute videos. I mean, come on now, what is that? I normally do maybe 20 minute videos. I find that that's the good number, maybe 15 minutes. Either way. Where is the fucking American? We're trying to find him, sir. No one is going to fuck this up for me. Wilder will have my spleen. You're late, insolent bitch. She got that skull. She giving head. Uh oh. There's a fucking army in here. Where the hell is he getting his men? Most likely from the moon. I need someone to cut off that flow. You're asking the impossible. Fucking figure it out. Whatever it costs. Whatever. Are you sure? Just do it. That motherfucker's getting away. That was a short and meaningless cutscene, I feel. Huh. Don't fuck with me. Get down, man. Play with this. Yeah, play with that. Hmm, how that taste. I guess I should really try and speedrun this now, because I guess speed is key to getting those multiplayers. They probably went to the second building across the road. That bridge links the two if you can get across. How do I get in this room here? I feel like I should be able to. Whoa! A target. Neato, bro. So intriguingly enough, back in the day, I believe I saw some individuals do a live stream of this game right here back way back, maybe 2012 or something, back when this game was actually relatively fresh. And I wanted to play it. And I wanted to play it for maybe a Throwback Thursday series or something because of the antiquated age of this game, however. And I'm also not certain if I have the ability to get to the end of this, but if the later levels are any resemblance to these younger levels here, then I shouldn't have much of a problem defeating this game. And, I mean, it also depends on if I can keep my attention up for the entirety of this game. Wouldn't want to lose attention. And so that live stream was the first time I saw any gameplay of this 50 cent game, the first time I had even heard of it realistically. If you want to know who it was, it was just some individuals at Destructoid or something streaming it. And it looked like they were having an arousing time, and apparently it still had co-op back then because they were playing it. I mean, I'm not familiar with Xbox 360, they might actually still have co-op on this game on this Xbox 360 version, but on the PS3 version, just like you'd come to expect, it's insufficient, it's insuperior, and it just doesn't have all the bells and whistles that the Xbox version has. Just like Call of Duty 4, it has achievements on Xbox, but on the PlayStation 3, no trophies to be found. And I feel like there's a lot of prejudice there. I feel like people are just really out to get the PS3. However, now that the PS4 is out, Seems like people are really going with the PS4 as opposed to with the Xbox One, which which is a good idea, I'd have to say. I already have a PS4, don't have an Xbox One, however, I do plan on getting one. I don't want anybody to think that I prefer one system, that's something you have to understand about me. I have played on PlayStation, on all of these walkthroughs, on every game I've played, PS4 or PS3, but don't get me wrong here, I do have the Xbox 360 system. And I, I do enjoy it for what it is. It's, it's good. I, personally, I think there's plenty of things about it that makes it better than the PS3. The online is, you know, it's got its things. It has party chat and things of that nature. But now the PS4 is out, I mean, you know, it's a whole new game now. People started out with the PS2 and things like that. And then they switched to Xbox and now they're back to PlayStation. There's some unfaithfulness there. However, I've stuck to PlayStation for quite the immense amount of time. Haven't devoted my life towards it realistically. Not too much of it, however. Ooh. I like how those missiles just roll right by you. That looks real good when that happens. 
need to catch up with that fool, 50. Look like he was headed across the road. We need to get up there. And here's the thing. There's reasons why I've had limited content on this channel and things of that nature. I have been doing various walkthroughs like that, but the main thing is my computer isn't really working too efficiently currently. So unfortunately, I've been a little bit unable to bring you everything I want to bring. And, you know, I want to do more PS4 gameplay, I want to do Xbox 360, and even Xbox One gameplay when I get it, of course. Especially PC games, you know, I do enjoy PC games. I actually play the Tales of the Borderlands Go game on the PC using the Xbox 360 controller. So, just don't think I stick to one PlayStation system or something of that nature here. Because I know a lot of people, they like to play favorites and think that YouTubers play favorites and things of that nature. But it ain't like that, man. It, it ain't like that at all. I show equal opportunity. I'm an equal opportunity individual. Just like those businesses claim to be. And I will play any system. If it has a good enough game for it, then I'll play that system and I'll play the game on there, realistically. That new Hatred game that was released a month ago, I wouldn't mind giving that a go, frankly. If you want to know the absolute truth behind the matter. And I really wanted to make a walkthrough of that on June 1st when it came out. Unfortunately, things didn't really work out like that. And with any hope, I will be playing it eventually. However, I know that many people won't care about it anymore at that point. Which is, it's a shame. I felt like that could have really been a big thing for the channel there. A lot of people might have wanted to see that. And frankly... If you couldn't tell from Postal 2 and Hotline Miami games of that nature, I don't really get offended. I don't care about controversial games. I just I just play games, man. Have fun doing it. If the game's fun, it doesn't matter to me if they say all sorts of racy terminology and things of that nature. I'll still play it. And I'll probably have a gosh darn good time playing it too. Where is this RPG guy at, and why am I having such a difficult time trying to find him? Have I come from here already? I... I think I have. I'm not certain, however. <laughs> There's something ringing over there, I can't... Oh, I can? I can this go further over here? Okay. Here. Oh, that was a lot of blood that just ejected from my phalluses there, mate. Where's my backup? Got the asses in gear yet? On the way. Just uh, smoothing out the intricacies of the deal right now. I... Get it done. I ain't got time. They'll be arriving in moments. I promise. Don't fuck this up. A lot of people playing Hatred, one person in particular, seem to have a hard time doing the main purpose of the game. And you know who he is. You know him. You know him. <clears throat> but, uh... People didn't appreciate that. People disliked the video a lot. They put a lot of hatred comments in there. Ironic, though, don't you think? That people hate on things like that. Hating on hatred and hating on people who hate hatred and hating. So much hate spurs from that. And it's great. It's just great. Because it's irony. It's good publicity. And things of that nature, realistically. Controversial games are always some of the most publicized. In case you couldn't tell, realistically. I mean, good publicity or bad publicity, it's all publicity. But that's something to keep in mind, of course. Don't look now, but this could be the cavalry. The cavalry? Oh, I see. That was a little late, wasn't it? But then I actually came across this pretty radical YouTuber who doesn't have a lot of subscribers, around 14,000 of them, a lot more than me, of course. And he played Hatred, did the whole thing, got it a little bit early, it seems, and people appreciated that he wasn't being a little girly girl about it, and he was enjoying it and killing all the innocent individuals. 
And I feel like I would have played the game in a similar fashion, frankly. So that could have really been something good for the channel. Wouldn't have been able to play it as early as him. I don't know how he got the game early. I mean, I think he has some sort of connections with the developers of the game. Just wrote him or something. And asked for an early copy. I mean, maybe one day my channel will be that large. That I can actually request things like that. I'm running absolutely dreadfully low on health. Alright, there we go. Got my health up again there. I was getting a little bit spooked. Jesus Christ, these people are intensely hard to kill. Come on now. Use the pistol, I guess that'll be more efficient. Can I kill this guy already? Like, come on now. Come on. Let me just kill him. I beg of you. I beg of you. I am... I am... Th thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate that I was finally able to slaughter that individual. Who's making all that racket up on the roof? I saw a poster over there, by the way. I don't... I don't know if I should get it or not. I don't... I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll tell you what. I'll get it. I ran out of ammo for the AK already? That's sad. My multiplayer, uh, multiplier looks a little high there, I don't know, maybe I'll... No, I'm sure I won't get the silver actually, as a matter of fact. That would be ridiculous if I got the silver one even. And hey, there's no trophies in this game, so I have no reason to bother. I swear I didn't know. I just hired them. I'm helping. I look. I don't trust these motherfuckers. All right. Now stay cool. Where are we headed? Through the second mall. Trident has spotters. They say Kamal's out back. All right. Let's go. What's this ammo? Yeah, I could always use some good ammo. Tasty stuff. Come Teamwork. On, yeah. Come on, Lloyd. Man. Wasn't Lloyd Banks the one who made the Beamer Benzer Bentley song? Huh. I think that's why I chose him, actually, because he's got that fresh single right there. Maybe it wasn't even a single, I don't know. But it was good. It was clean. It was efficient. And those are the main things you look for when you're looking for a new home. And, uh, thank you. Come again in the next part. Don't forget, if you enjoyed, I'll be here all week.